Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you, Lakshmi. Thank and you. Uh, Vijay Krishna. Hi, ma'am. This is Vijay Krishna. I am from Andhra Pradesh, Kakinada. I am doing a small business. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so you are you are excited for this today's session? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's good. Uh, I think uh, Ajita, you were there in the previous class, is it? Um, Hi. Ajita, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Jani, ma'am. Can you Hi. hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Uh, 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 good afternoon. Good afternoon. I think we know each other, so happy I... to see you again. Happy yeah. to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. So probably we could now start off or am I done with everyone else? Yeah, I, I, I'm so sorry that, uh, you know, my bad today, it took a lot of time to turn on my video and start the session. <laughs> okay. So really, guys, I first, I should welcome you all for today's session. That is, you know, a free session that is called Talk with Subscribers. Maybe they might be even our viewers who have been viewing us and who have been showering us with a lot of love and affection. And thank you for joining, you know, this wonderful session because this is going to be, you know, your the start of your day and you are now willing to improve your English and that's a big deal for everyone, right? Right, around the world. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you are all fortunate enough to be in the class because now you have come up with the decision that I want to improve and this is it. Because I have to say that whenever we launch any kind of free programs, right, mostly people don't uh, encourage that. Why? Because when it's free, people don't choose for it and people don't, you know, admit our, you know, join our classes. But when we charge or when we some pay, uh, keep something for a, you know, a pay or a minimum pay or something like that, they join. But then also they don't continue their sessions. But I have to appreciate that uh, some of the people or some of the uh, uh, I mean, students who have joined today, they have been continuously texting us, emailing us regarding, you know, the sessions. And uh, I'm really happy that Ajita again, uh, you know, she has joined in for the second time. So this is all we want, guys. So one thing, but what we want through our sessions is something you can learn through our classes, whether yeah. it is the pronunciation, whether interview skills, right, whether you want to showcase and speak like this confidently in front of people or whether someone wants to be a content creator because yeah. facing a camera is not an easy task guys it requires a lot of guts because sometimes you get bullied by a lot of people you get judged by a lot of people right unknowing people because you are all sweet and all my subscribers are also really sweet we have never faced such kind of you know menial comments or any mean comments i'm so uh, fortunate but we have seen other content creators who have faced a lot in their life yeah. but so they didn't give a damn they thought what we are providing is what's important because when a content creator is confident and having a vision that what i have to do and what i have to do for my subscribers when he have that confidence then he will surely excel and reach his goal right okay guys so today's actually this session is like to talk on different topics like today's topic is all about a favorite pastime or a hobby right so yeah i think everyone will have a hobby or a pastime right in their life or in their daily routine maybe because of some other issues we may not continue but we have some in our vision that this is our hobby right Maybe this was yeah. passion, but now when you get again some time, you would surely continue the passion again or resume your passion. Right, Jahnavi? So what do you think about uh, favorite pastime? Can you please explain a bit to them so that they can start, you know, doing that? I've got many favorite hobbies. Um, and I think uh, as of now, I, I really love dancing during my free time. And uh, I just enjoy it uh, while I just do and I tried different kinds of dance, uh, probably just, just watching some videos on YouTube. And I also love cooking at, at this point of time. I think I try curating some new dishes 
with some of the stuff that I have in my fridge. So I, I love trying to create some new dishes, watching some YouTube videos, but then mixing some other vegetables in there. And because I'm a vegetarian, I'm much more specific of the vegetables that I use. I I feel that uh, you can you can have a lot of uh, different uh, dishes with vegetables and you can curate a, a lot of interesting recipes. So oh, sorry, Bharati, but this reminds me of some of the vegetables that you always, you know, say. Can you say to, you know, some of the vegetables, can you name them? Because our subscribers would know like what kind of vegetables are famous in London because we know in India, right? But we don't know what, what's famous in London. So we are curious to know. So can you please name some of the vegetables that you get there? I think you get the aubergine a lot, which is the brinjal only, but then you get it in a bigger size, which is called as an aubergine here. A lot. Right. I think this is what you're referring to, right? Aubergine, a purple egg-shaped fruit or a tropical old old plant, right? So maybe aubergine is something like eggplant. Or a lot. So broccoli is one of my favorites. You get that a lot as well. Yeah. Can you please pronounce that again for our viewers? Mm -hmm. Broccoli, right? Oh. Broccoli. Yeah, broccoli. Yeah. And this is one of my Can favorite. Pronounce that broccoli. again for uh, our viewers because, see, some people would be saying as uh, broccoli or broccoli. Like I've heard many people saying that. So it's broccoli, right? So this is broccoli. how I get broccoli. And, and you also yeah. have like the snap peas. Uh, so this is a variety of peas. It's called sugar snap. S-U-G-A-R, sugar snap, S-N-A-P, peas. Yeah, uh, that is a different kind of peas, but they're slightly sweet. Yeah, I think it's the second image. This is the one, right? Sugar mm -hmm. snap peas. Yeah, so it's, 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 I would say this is similar to our Indian vegetable where we call... I don't know what that's called, but then we call it like uh, chikrukailu in Telugu. So I, I really like it, but it's just, it's slightly sweet, uh, but I still love it. And I cook this a lot as well. Right. This this is, I think this is quite common. We have seen, but not the one which you have named. This has another. Okay. So yeah, this is sugar snap peas. Good, good to know that. So these are the common vegetables that, you know, you get it over there. So is there any Indian vegetable like cauliflower or you know any yeah, other cauliflower and we do get the french beans a lot um and then we do get um i think yeah cauliflower and french beans are the most common ones and then i try to eat which which, well, which, which i think you are all. Yeah. yeah okay guys but for any specific indian vegetables i go to an indian shop and buy <laughs> right yeah very good to know so i think you have learned today guys which is aubergine right and that's kind of bring jol or an eggplant you call it as and the other one is broccoli and uh the other type maybe in hindi in telugu in other languages you will have a name of this which is called sugar snap peas i've already shown the image so you can name in your language so anyways uh, good to know a uh, little more you know about what are the vegetables that are famous in london and what you get regularly good to know those so okay uh, as janvi has given her favorite pastime now it's time for you people to address your own favorite pastime so what is your favorite hobby or pastime i want uh, lakshmi to speak and whenever um, anybody is speaking please guys make sure you turn on your video and also turn on your audio as well so that everyone will see and will listen to you thank you so much yeah go ahead lakshmi thank you ma'am Actually, I'm at the balcony. My, my balcony is full of messy, so I couldn't turn on camera. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, go ahead, uh, Lakshmi. No problem. Yeah. I think it's okay. Thank you, ma'am. My yeah. favorite hobby is uh, listening music, ma'am. And, and I love to cooking also. That's okay. all about right. my favorite hobby. Any other, okay. any other things you want to add? See, guys, try to make sure you would try to speak a little more because, see, this is a speaking task. And this, we are giving yeah. 
opportunity to you to speak. I like right? to listen Marcy and the Melody song. Uh, uh, related to cooking, I love to cook uh, chicken items. Probably Lakshmi, can I know as to why you like doing that or what what makes you really happy doing that? Or because what? I like chicken, so so I want to do related to chicken items. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's move on. Okay, Lakshmi, thank you so much for the wonderful response. Uh, you have initiated and you have started, you know, to speak, and that's really a good thing because to talk in front of five members, also some people will not be that much confident. So you've showed. I need to appreciate that first, and then uh, okay, let let us give us a chance to um. I think um, Anil. So Anil, yeah. Can you please tell me a bit? I mean, what is your favorite pastime or hobby? So sorry, Anil. Uh, sorry, just a second before we move on, right? So I think thank you, Lakshmi. Uh, but then what we wanted to know from this session is for you to speak. So we wanted you to speak as much as you can. And the way you can. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Wait one minute. Can yeah. you see me, ma'am? Can you see me? Uh, no. Okay. 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 I will. My video is so far. I think. Okay. Carry on, man. Come. Carry on. Carry on. Uh, so what we wanted you to start off with is is an introduction. Okay, as to what your favorite pastime is or what your hobby is. It can be anything. It can be reading. You know, painting or cooking or gaming or dancing or whatever or probably even teaching English like what we do <laughs> mm, and then uh, or what and you can start explaining it by what uh, you know draws you to it so what brings you to that why do you like doing that okay it, it can be anything probably that's that's best for you to explain and then I would want you to talk about that hobby probably it might be useful for some of them if they wanted to have that or make that as their hobby, okay? And then you can probably conclude the statement, okay? That's your time. Okay. Um, then... Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Sorry, Anil, uh, you can go ahead. No, okay, ma'am. So my favorite hobbies are watching and playing cricket. So I have been started watching cricket since 2011 cricket World Cup. In that first match, uh, Seva scored 175 runs and Holi also achieved 100. After that, as I grew up, I understand in the rules of cricket such as uh, DRS and LBW. Mm, I think many people like T20, uh, but in, I prepare test cricket because it is played over five days. In those five days, uh, players wear white dress and I'm excited I excite about uh, what will happen next day and what will happen in uh, each day of the end each day of the end and uh, mm -hmm. yes go go ahead go ahead uh, Anil I'm listening Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about what will happen next day and how each one day will be each. And I I love cricket because it is a very famous because we can see in test match test matches like uh, lunch break and uh, tea break uh, like that in uh, like that in day night matches we can also see dinner break. This is the beauty of a test cricket. I also play I also play cricket with my friends. We go to park and we play cricket around two um, two hours. At the six o'clock, we return to our houses. Thank you. Okay, Jahni, you have something to say about uh, the feedback for Anil? Like any feedback? Thank you, Anil. Uh, I think uh, you you started off very well. Uh, you know, you were explaining and trying to speak confidently. Uh, although there are a few things in, in 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 the way you're trying to connect your statements, okay? Uh, so I think uh, I, I must appreciate, I think for all the people who are speaking in uh, as well, you, you 
you were speaking very confidently is what I can say. All I wanted or all we wanted you to do is speak as much as you can because you can only correct your mistakes while you're speaking. There's not one thing that you can concentrate on master one thing. So you can always speak and then get your, uh, get your sentences corrected so that that will be useful and you can probably correct them in your next speech. Okay. So you, you did start off very well by saying, you know, I've been watching cricket and then you've watched Kohli and you growing up, you started to understand the terms. Okay. Uh, I think I felt that you were trying to broke, uh, you know, you were trying to break these sentences across and there wasn't a connectivity between your uh, uh, statement. So you can say that growing up, I started learning or understanding these terms like LBW and the other one that you have mentioned, which I don't know about. Uh, but then this, I said, you, you also mentioned that I excite about, I will get excited, okay? Uh, not I excite. So, or I will, I, I will get excited or I am excited about the game, okay? Or about the vibe of the game. And because it is a very famous game, and I think lots of people in India watch or follow cricket, I think this is something considered as our, like our, uh, like the game uh, for our country, all, although hockey is like our national game. Uh, but then um, uh, I, we... I think all the boys and men are cricket buffs. Yes. UFF buff is like, they're fond of cricket. I hope you all accept me, right? I hope you agree with, with me, right? Yes. Yes. And even Sanjeev and whoever guys are there today who have joined, I think they're cricket puff and they love watching no matter what age it is. Even my father who's a 35 year old. So he even, he loves watching cricket and uh, he didn't even miss, you know, one minute or one second also the India and uh, Australia match. So that was really crazy that I felt, you know, that they're so involved in the game. And okay, let's move on with Sanjeev. Yeah, Sanjeev, please go ahead Thank and you. start uh, addressing, like tell, uh, tell us about a bit favorite hobby that you have. So we all would know. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, talking about my pastime is most of the time uh, I used to spend uh, watching YouTube and mostly I used to watch uh, Indian creators YouTube channel. So uh, uh many channels help me to uh, improve my uh, skills so i love to watching uh, indian creator channel uh, many more than 15 and 20 channels are i used to watch every day every time and i use it's a lot of helps me to improve my skills and uh, I also i found your channel t uh, english in on youtube so i was so excited to uh, speak uh, here so you gave me the chance so first of all uh, so much thank you ma'am and talking about my uh, hobbies are my first hobby is reading book uh, i uh, if i got free time i i will get free time i used to read books and i also love uh, travel uh, by car so long drive i uh, my hobby is, is also long drive and going on uh, another is his favorite hobby wow that's really exciting <laughs> okay and um, also my hobby is uh, cooking also my hobbies and when i got uh, a chance to cook in my home i used to cook <laughs> i used to cook also, cooking also and maybe that's all about my hobbies <laughs> okay wonderful wonderful see um and one more thing i want to give a suggestion so uh, before i give chance to ajita ma'am again see here guys see when you're starting and trying to speak about a topic right there is a structure that everyone must follow that is when you're trying to speak even if it's a mini speech like you're just talking for two minutes or three minutes right or even uh, like one to two minutes so when you're giving a speech so every speech will have an intro which is called a hook right 
that means you have to start off with some kind of hook that grabs the attention of the uh, viewers or the audience right and then okay, you okay. have to move on with what actually the topic is right it's like favorite pastime so you will tell what is your favorite pastime and then you have to tell why especially that's favorite to you that's your body right because after the intro the body will come that means the mid part like what you're going to explain about your hobby like you will tell that if suppose you ask me my hobby is to create content on youtube that's my passion no matter who is going to watch on youtube whether i get followers whether i get subscribers or not one thing what i would do is i would surely make content for everyone out there and whoever is viewing and whoever is sharing their love so i would appreciate even a one subscriber is a you know a good thing for me so that's what i feel because content creation is my passion and i have it so i will tell everything about it so why it made me you know content creator what are the things and then i would end saying that so and i love doing it and this is it this is my pastime i love doing even if i'm 60 years old i would still say that i'll be a content creator or a successful you know influencer right because our hobby okay. will start off at some of the other uh, uh, you know age but it will continue throughout life and that's our hobby right that should be our hobby so you have to start with an intro and then the body and then the conclusion you should also conclude your statement saying that finally what i want to say is like um as i said my favorite pastime is cooking or creating content i love creating new dishes and serving people right so this is how you have to start you have to explain it's not like just saying okay cooking is my passion or else like writing is my passion or else cricket is my passion no you have to explain about why actually is it's your passion or why actually it is your hobby right so that's your body and then you have to conclude okay. that, you know this is it so this is the structure of any speech guys not only here if you talk with anyone and they give you an opportunity to speak for 2 minutes you have to have this kind of structure which is intro and then body and then conclusion okay Okay. Okay, man. Yeah. Okay. Good to know that. And I would say, Sanjeev, uh, you did well. Yes, man. Thank you to appreciate that you have many hobbies to pursue, and I wish yes you succeed in the future endeavors. Okay. Okay. Thank you, man. Thank you. Man. Well oh, done, sir. Yeah. Uh, next, can we move on to Ajita, please? I think we've got only a few minutes. Yeah. Ajita, man. what are your favorite hobbies yes ma'am uh, actually uh, in my schooling my hobby is to read books novels short stories actually but now i change a lot <laughs> now my favorite hobby is uh, to one of my favorite hobbies to listen english podcast audio books and sometimes i watch or listen english movies movies especially english so that is my first now still uh, current my current uh, my current passion is uh, watching or listening uh, english podcast because it uh, gives me a lo uh, lot to improve my uh, english fluency then the second one is uh, my favorite uh, hobby is cooking Uh, i love to cook uh, delicious foods for my family uh, every uh, weekend on weekend i uh, love to cook biryani for my family uh, especially chicken biryani but once in a uh, once in blue moon i make uh, pizza correct ma'am pronunciation is correct pizza yes. pizza uh, some desserts because uh, regular use it's not good for our health it is so once in a blue moon i think it's not pizza some some people will say as a pit t it's not t it's not pizza it's pizza 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 right you uh, say is uh, 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 regular use of the sweets and pizza uh, it's not uh, good for our health so once in a blue moon i make i definitely make uh, pizza and cake Uh, some sweets for my family yeah and also while cooking we get rid of some stress and also uh, tension stress and mm -hmm. some anxiety 
Definitely. So I really enjoy cooking. And also I really enjoy listening some English. Uh, whenever I had free time, I get free time. I listen uh, to English podcast, uh, English audio books. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Uh, and Well said for everyone. Can you recommend any podcast that, uh, or any one podcast that is useful for our uh, viewers or subscribers today? Um, anything. Uh, it can be anything. Uh, I think is, uh, Tiffany Mam's podcast. Tiffany. Tiffany. Okay. Yeah, it's US. It's English with uh, Tiffany. It's I, English, English with English. Tiffany. So it's a YouTube uh, channel. I think she has a podcast channel as well. So you can uh, and check it. So it's like English with Tiffany. Of course, I will listen Priya Ma'am's and Janvi Ma'am's videos. <laughs> but it's so very, very helpful for, for me. <laughs> so of course, it's very good channel. Uh, Priya Ma'am's uh, English Tea, English Official. And uh, another one. One thing I want to, you know, just... Oh, take... Yeah, Ajita Ma'am, it's lovely. And one thing what Ajita Ma'am used here is like once in a blue moon. Yeah. Once in a blue moon is something like rarely which is rarely we do it, right? That's a very good idiom. Guys, this is yeah. a very beautiful idiom. And I would say like, when somebody is using idioms and phrases in their speech, they're almost, you know, trying to be a native speaker because native speakers do use idioms and phrases yeah. in their language, not Indians, because Indians, we just follow normal language and we use normal, it. Yeah. But when we use idioms and phrases, right? And that's when we are going to the next level. This is what we can idealize. Suppose mm -hmm. we're improving, you know, and using idioms and phrases and all. That means you're going up to the next level. Oh, and also, I, or yes, please. follow yes, our uh, group, which is WhatsApp channel. So you can go ahead and, you know, uh, click on the links that you want. So this is fan okay. Point, okay. Fan point it... connectors. Fan yeah, uh, you don't mind. Yeah, can you, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but then we're running out of time. And we have to just uh, move on to the next one. So thank you very much, Ajita, ma'am. And probably you could also try and see TED Talks as well. Uh, I can just link it in the chat. Uh, TED Talks is also very uh, interesting. And then uh, we get different speakers out there. And it, it's it's really interesting to see what they uh, talk about. And it's sometimes about so many, uh, Madam, excuse me. No, so many channels are there, but I didn't uh, remember anything right now. I did mention one in the chat, so okay. I think uh, we can put you more. Uh, I think because we've got two minutes remaining, I think I just wanted to show uh, one of our um, uh, website that we created uh, this week. So probably we just wanted to link it down in the description as well. So uh, let me just share you my screen very quickly. So let me know when you can see this, yeah. Okay, so this is the website that we have created. Uh, so you would have, uh, sorry, I would just uh, minimize this. You would have uh, a WhatsApp and uh, an Instagram um, channel as well, and you can follow us on YouTube. And then you have a home section, uh, which is this one. This is our, like the video that uh, we just thought. And if you want to join in any one of the sessions, you can just simply join any one of our WhatsApp community or probably subscribe on YouTube by clicking on any one of those links. And you also have down here as to what are the courses that we offer. So we've uh, added the course of uh, added the list of courses that we offer and how much do we charge as well. Uh, but then if you're interested, you can also always send an email by clicking on this interested button and then we can we can um, speak to each other about that. And uh, I think we just wanted to give you an intro as to what our channel is about and what we wanted to achieve with you all. And then um, this is both of us. And we just wanted to say that how we curate or how we started off with this initiative. And you've got to contact us and you can always email us to tenglishofficial at gmail.com. And if you wanted to subscribe to any one of our channels or have any one of the other questions, which is not mentioned in this page, you can always send it across to us. And you always have these links across that you can always join our WhatsApp or any one of the community. I think this is our channel, which I'm going to share you in the chat as well. Uh, and then you can uh, go ahead and have a look at it. Thank you.